Hi, Philip from GoBros here, and welcome to Sideload Success. This is the series where I take a look at some of the Android games you may be looking at sideloading onto your Oculus Go, and we find out if it's worth it. In today's installment, we're taking a look at Star Trek Timelines. I actually discovered this game a long time ago on my iPhone. Um, probably started playing it maybe three years ago, and then I hadn't really played it in a really long time until I just picked it up the other day to see how it would play on the Oculus Go sideloaded. So for Star Trek fans out there, there is no native Star Trek game currently on the Oculus Go. And that's to kind of be understood because it would a developer would have to pay a license to make the game. And right now, VR, especially mobile VR, is sort of in its infancy. There's just not enough player base out there. So if you want to get uh, your Star Trek fix on while you have your Oculus Go on your head, this might be the game for you. So let's talk about a few of the features of Star Trek Timelines. It's kind of like a collectible card game in a way. Um, many, many, many years ago, um, the trading card game company Decipher actually had a Star Trek um, trading card game. I think it started out with just the next generation. They may have expanded into some of the other series, but it was really good. Um, it was really good. They actually had a web browser based version of it for a while. Um, but in this way, you don't actually see playing cards anywhere in there, but you collect um, different Star Trek characters. And I also noticed that it looks like they have now also included Discovery Star Trek characters as well. I'm starting to see some characters I don't recognize, and it looks like the Star Trek Discovery uniforms, because I haven't actually watched that yet. So you could have a team of Klingons, Cardassians, Federation officers, all as part of your ship. And what's really nice is the whole game is narrated by uh, John Delancey, who played Q. And um, the folks who made this game, oh, man, their name slips me, <laughs> their name slips me right now, which is crazy because as soon as you launch the app, the name of the developer of this game is there. Um, but they have a lot of great Star Trek sound effects. Um, most of the main characters, whenever you like play, um, play them in an away mission, or something like that, you actually get to hear their voice. And so it's actually really cool. If you notice when you launch the, the app on your phone or on the Oculus Go, it actually says it's best to play with sound because it is, the sound effects are great, the music's great, and you get to hear the characters. You get a really full Star Trek experience. So the whole point of Siloed Success though, isn't really to talk about, hey, is this a great game? Because it is, it's a very successful game free to play there is options where you can spend money watch ads all that yada 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 well, there's five important questions that i want to ask on these apps to make sure it's worth putting on the go Move question the number one does it work and in this case yes it does work it's very easy to sideload um, if you don't know how to sideload an app onto your oculus go there's lots of tutorials out there in the internet you just got to search for it you can go to reddit you can ask the guys in Discord, um, but at the very top of the playlist for success, um, sideload success, I showed how you can do it on the Mac, and some of those instructions are similar for the PC. But to get this, the easiest thing is just go to play.google.com and use the APK downloader extension in Google Chrome and download the APK and then install it to your Oculus Go. It'll launch from your app launcher that you have installed into Oculus TV, and it launches well. Um, I see it about launches the same speed as it does on my iPhone 7 Plus. Um, and I don't really notice any stuttering in game either when I'm wearing this on the Oculus Go. And I didn't just do a quick test on this. I actually, um, when I finally am like, you know what, I played this for a little bit to make sure it works. I was playing it on my phone, but I really used to like this game. So one night, at bedtime, I put on my Oculus Go at 100% battery, and I drained the whole thing down while in bed playing Star Trek Timeline. So does it work? Absolutely. Number two, is it playable with the Go controller? Yes, it is. And I imagine most things that you're going to sideload um, onto the Oculus Go will be playable with the Go controller because these games are designed to be on a touch screen. And when you use the Go controller, it's just simulating a finger touch onto a touch screen. So yeah, it works great with the Oculus Go controller. I don't see any stuttering, don't have any misclicks. Um, and it's actually really easy to play with the Go controller. Um, the screen is huge and I can just lay there in bed and, uh, well, huge compared to your mobile device. And I can just use the little laser however I want, just point at what I need to see and click on it as if it was my finger. Number three, is it better than on a phone? Now this is, I think, kind of an important question to ask because 
these other questions are important for side loading and even if something is a better experience than the phone sometimes it's still worth side loading because it's hands free almost you don't have to hold your phone up um and you can play it to where you don't disturb somebody in the same room as you let's say it's bedtime you know you and your spouse are sleeping and the light from your phone you don't want to disturb them when you put on the headset back let's go headset there's not really any light that could disturb them but there's other things too that i feel like make this better than the phone but the biggest one i already mentioned is if you're playing this game for a long time if you have a bigger phone which most of us do now it can get kind of heavy when you're like holding it on your pinkies because a lot of times you're pushing the buttons with your thumbs and i found that it's actually better in the oculus go now since i started playing it on the go i have you know when i'm out and about you know in the restroom you know i'll still play it on my phone and that brings us to our next question is there cloud syncing yes there is now why is that important well maybe this is one of your favorite games and you want to still be able to play it on your phone or and on the oculus go and in this case, Star Trek Timelines, last I checked, it was also playable on Facebook through the browser. Although when I tried it two years ago, it was very, very slow and choppy and I wouldn't have recommended it. But if you're gonna play on the go, it'd be nice if there's a cloud sync so you don't have to worry about your game not saving right and whatnot. But this does have cloud sync. I actually, my go died when I was playing it. And I was in the middle of, I didn't get a chance to finish sending out my all my shuttle missions. Or something like that and so I put my go down picked up my phone and opened up the app and lo and behold right where I left off on the app so yes there's cloud syncing the final question I want to ask in sideload success is is the tutorial annoying <laughs> what do I mean by this so those of you who've played apps before and maybe you deleted an app from your phone you brought it back you have to go through the tutorial to learn to play the game well, good developers out there give you a skip option, or the tutorial's not very long. So the question is, in Star Trek Timelines, is the tutorial annoying? I don't know 100% certain, because when I first tried this, this was probably a month ago when I first tried Timelines on the go to make sure it worked. I do remember I had to click through a bit of a tutorial, but I don't remember it being super duper annoying probably a little annoying because there was a tutorial i said to go through with no skip i think <sighs> do i check this off on the list uh, uh it's hard to say I i'm gonna go ahead because i love this game so much i'm gonna go ahead and check this one off on the success side load success checklist yell at me in comments if i was wrong about the tutorial being annoying I've tested a few other apps at the same time I tested this one, and there's some others that I'll be talking about coming up where the tutorial was just super duper annoying, almost to the point where I might recommend not sideloading it, uh, but not quite. So in a nutshell, this is getting, this is giving five out of five for me on my sideload success checklist. It works. The Oculus Go controller works perfectly with it. In my opinion, it's more fun than on the phone. There is cloud sync and the tutorial, even though there is one, isn't super long and annoying. So if you're a Star Trek fan, go check out Star Trek Timelines, install it, get it downloaded. And if you're already playing, hey, now you know it's a great opportunity to go ahead and sideload that onto your um, Oculus Go. In a nutshell, go get Star Trek Timelines. It works great on the Oculus Go, even better than on your mobile device. Until next time, this has been another episode of Sideload Success. I'm Philip from GoBros, and I'll see you next time.